What's up everyone? Today I want to talk to you about the SWOT analysis. Most people probably already know what it is. In fact, you may have first heard the term when you were in high school. But what you may not know is that conducting a SWOT analysis can be incredibly beneficial in the context of your real estate business. So in this video, I'm going to break it all down for you right now. Hi, my name is Kurt Cerno and I'm an award-winning real estate agent and I'm a coach and consultant. And if you want to take your real estate business to the next level, hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe so you don't miss out on a ton of knowledge and valuable insight that I'll be sharing with you going forward. Let's dive deeper into what the SWOT analysis actually is. According to Investopedia, the SWOT analysis is a framework used to evaluate a company's competitive position and to develop strategic planning going forward. The SWOT analysis assesses internal and external factors as well as current and future potential. What the SWOT analysis stands for is strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. A SWOT analysis can help you put together available information and leverage your market knowledge and professional instincts to make educated guesses about both short-term and long-term movements in your business. It can also help you make good decisions and even reframe negative narratives for future success. Let's talk about each part of the SWOT analysis in the context of your real estate business. Let's look at strengths. What are your strengths as an agent? What are the strengths of your team or your brokerage? Here are a few possible strengths to take a look at. That can be things like market knowledge, your sphere of influence, your marketing expertise, community connections, testimonials, your reputation in the market, Things like leadership positions if you have a team, positive brand identity. The key question that you have to ask yourself here is how do I leverage these strengths? For example, take into account testimonials and your reputation in the market. Perhaps you have a portfolio of great reviews from clients and you also have a positive reputation in your market. Your testimonials are a great way to showcase your success as an agent and if it's marketed properly, it would just further add to your positive reputation. Now let's look at weaknesses. What are the things that are holding you back as an agent? These could be things like inexperience or being new to the marketplace. Maybe you have a small sphere of influence to start your database with, or perhaps you have some negative online reviews that you need to evaluate and figure out how to provide better service for clients. A negative brand identity or reputation among your peers can also be considered areas of weakness. Now let's look at opportunities. What opportunities do you see in the near future or long-term future in your market? Maybe there's a forecasted growth due to a new industry or company headquarters going up in your city. There could also be an influx of new residents and people looking to capitalize on investment opportunities. New home buyer incentives, demographic shifts, lower interest rates, these are all opportunities for agents to expand their business and their lead generation activities. Finally, let's look at threats. What threats do you see in the current or near future that could affect your market or your business? Maybe there's an economic downturn predicted. Things like rising interest rates or technological innovation platforms that are trying to take the place of real estate agents could also be a threat. There also could be a first sale by owner company that, like Grapevine or Purple Bricks that has opened up in your town. If you have a team, perhaps the looming retirement of a valued team member is threatening to provide a major hole in your business structure. Now that I've explained why a SWOT analysis can be beneficial for your real estate business, you can use this acronym to create a plan going forward for your business identify your unique strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats so that you can get a better overall snapshot of how you're doing and where you want to head in the future. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up below and subscribe so you don't miss out on some more must-see real estate content just like this.